Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mo here. 3D printing is addicting and it is very, very useful at the same time. Trust me, once you get the bug of 3D printing, you will be busy 3D printing all the time. I personally like designing the 3D objects, making them in Fusion 360, and then going ahead 3D printing them. However, I wanted to actually see what is this 3D scanning like and how much workload it can reduce when it comes to replicate some of your favorite objects into 3D or going for 3D printing them. So there wasn't much of the choice of 3D scanners in the market. However, I found a very small compact desktop 3D scanner sitting right here in this box. We are going to unbox it. We're gonna see what are the components. We will put it together, assemble it, and then we will see how well the 3D scanning actually works. If it is really that good, for 3D printing, if it really must have, or it is just good to replicate your favorite objects. And I also wanted to see how good are these 3D scanners which are available in limited quantities in the market, and how good is the 3D scanning, and how well those 3D scan models actually print. So let's get to work right away. All right, so this is the Cyclop desktop 3D scanner. Let's see what's inside the box. This comes as a kit, so you have to actually build it. We have a couple of components. We have these long threaded rods right here, like screws. We have screws, bolts, nuts, and washers. And we have a big bearing right here. This is basically the one. Of course, this is very obvious based on that it will rotate the object and the scan. So there should be laser pointers inside as well or laser readers, I believe. So I'll put this one aside. And under here we have uh, cables, USB and lasers. I believe these are two lasers. Then we have something like a Logitech camera, okay? Wow, nice Logitech camera, okay. And then we have these red, red components. Looks like 3D printed components, but actually they are not. They're properly uh, molded. Components, check this out. Cyclops HE3D, okay. So basically nice and tough components these are. Then this component is with a motor so basically you should know that this is going to rotate your object around while the camera and the lasers will actually 3d scan it okay then we have a wall adapter looks really cheap wall adapter to me all right then this thing looks like a control board right here okay and then there are two more plastic pieces Let's see what else is inside. Yes, there is more to it. It's not done yet. More pieces. And finally, yes, I was looking for it. A plate that will take your object and rotate it. Uh, what is this? Why black color here? Did they burn it? I have no idea. Okay, and then we have this sticky at one side. Uh, Anti-slip mat that you will put on this surface so that your object will not slip. More plastic body parts. And what is this? It's kind of a plastic plate. I'm not sure for what, but we'll find out very, very soon. And then finally we have this paper with some kind of checkers printed on them. Probably this you will use to calibrate your 3D scanner. Now check out all these components and not a single piece of paper that actually describes anything about how do you build this desktop 3D scanner. So thank you very much, whatever company you are, for assuming that we are geniuses, engineers in this world that know everything right outside the box, how these components are gonna fit together. Thank you very much for this assumption. I already feel myself like a genius.
so after playing a lot, I found some of the settings that actually are working properly. However, however, I found that this scanner can scan objects that are round and colorful very well. Okay, so you can uh, you can scan 3D scan fruits. They will turn out very very good, just like you see here. Okay, this model needs a little bit of work on a mesh lab, okay, and you should be able to print it. But what if I wanted to print a few of these? Hmm? For example, this is a model of, uh, I mean, a small toy of Toyota Tundra. For example, my little brave dirt bike stunt riders. Or this little uh, thing that came from the Kinder Chocolate. So, what if you wanted to scan things like this? For instance, this car. This is not gonna turn out very, very good. So, if you're scanning, as far as you're scanning objects like fruits, like uh, circular object, colorful but not black, okay, uh, objects like these, all right, this is gonna turn very, very good. This is gonna turn out very, very good. But objects like these, Mm -mm, don't expect a very very good quality. I can still play with the settings. You still have to do a lot of uh, tweaking on the camera to get the best as possible image, and then you have to play with a lot of lot of settings right here before you can actually start getting good results. So I have this car here, all right, perfectly set in this uh, boundary, and let's uh, start scanning. Okay, and we'll start this camera as well for time lapse. I'm using only single laser which is giving me good results. Both lasers are pretty slow but still uh, single laser is working just fine. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this little model scanning has finished. You can see that it did not turn out that good as I expected or as you would have expected. Wheels are missing, a lot of things are missing. Basically this can be adjusted I believe with the image adjustments and tweaking but I have no idea what to tweak at the moment to get better results. Anyway the next thing I'm gonna try are some tutti frutti uh, objects on the platform. Alright, this scan didn't turn out very good. Grandpa looked a bit better from back and the front. So multiple objects are not scanning very well. Let me try the grandpa alone, shall we? Okay, so grandpa has finished the scanning and uh, this is how the grandpa looks. Um, this is, uh, I can, I mean, so you can still bring it to mesh lab or other software and try to repair it and then see how it prints at the moment i have to install the mesh lab and then see how i have to learn the mesh lab and then see how i can put this together into printable 3d model You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.